Yo, what's up everybody? How's it going? We're playing some 1x6 today and we're doing a bit of a classic one take today. That's because I want to tell you guys that the memberships on the new YouTube channel on Stories of Dota are live. And I kind of wanted to do this as quickly as possible. So let me kind of like show you here really quick. So this is the Stories of Dota channel. It's in the description, right? And this is the videos you currently have. But this is members only stuff. So you can see there's like a whole bunch of extra material in there. Like the Juggernaut and the IO video, which you can already watch right now. You can, you just, you can go watch them right now if you want to. All right? All you have to do is go over there and become a channel member. And you also get the interviews and shit like that. So go check it out. Also, this is why we're playing Juggernaut today. Because uh, with Juggernaut, you know, like there's the Juggernaut video over there. Um, so you can check that out um, if you want to. I'm just saying. Uh, okay, let me just... <laughs> So honestly speaking, um, the so for uh, the stories of Dota channel, the best way to support that channel really is to become a channel member. And let me be clear, just so everybody knows that what we we're talking about, uh, being a channel member is paid, so it costs five bucks. Although I think it varies a bit depending on region, right? Um, but you gain access to a bunch of stuff. You gain, as I said, you gain uh, the early versions of the videos, so you can already watch the next videos. Uh, you also get the version, the videos without any advertisements on them. So um, the normal versions of the videos, they have stuff like, hey, leave a like on it, and on the, you know, credits and annoying shit like that that nobody likes. Well, uh, the videos that are available to members do not have that. They just they just did without any of those stuff. Um, then, of course, the videos, they all have an interview. So they the full interviews are available too. Uh, you get access to the documents that we used for research. If that's of interest to you, I, I don't know if it necessarily is, right? I think that will vary from person to person. But if that's ever something that you were curious about, um, then you can check out my research documents and you can see what kind of went into making the videos. And that's, that's kind of it, I guess, right? Uh, but it is also just like the best way of supporting the channel because it is direct money. <laughs> and making the videos is expensive. <laughs> making the videos is expensive. I want to keep making them. And, uh, you know, so we need money. Yeah, that would be great. So anyway, um, please go and... Uh, if this is something that is an option for you, I would very much appreciate it greatly if you could join as a channel member. If you don't want to or can't, that is totally fine. Don't feel bad about it. Um, right, like it's fine too. But it's just, I just want to let you know just that that's available now. It's a little, a little delayed. I wanted to have this available right at launch, but we weren't quite able to make that work. But it is here now. Hey, Dark Freeze, thanks for the 63 months. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then we spin in here. And grab this. And I do not like any of this. Oh, yes. Blade Dance attacks inflict mortal wound on targets for 6 seconds. At the end of this effect, though, when the target's health drops below 30%, the target will receive 60 magic damage for each charge. Each charge. So, uh, now we have uh, mortal wounds here. Which is pretty strong. It's just like a nice additional source of significant damage. And then uh, we need to figure out what we buy with this build. Now, to be honest, this is Juggernaut. He is a farmer. So we probably want to just kind of go for some farming stuff as quickly as possible. And uh, this uh, seems like a, a good way of going about things, right? And then I also want to kind of just job, make sure... Oh, this has already been cleared. Well, I guess that's just how it be then. All right, all right, let's go back, let's go back. Hey, Fish Flam, thanks for the 18 months. Appreciate that too. Of course, I appreciate the Twitch subs too, but like a problem with Twitch subs is always, I feel like I can't really give anything back. That's why the channels of Dota, oh wait, sorry, stories of Dota channels set up in such a way that inherently, um, you know, you do get something in return if you do become a member. Like, immediately, you just instantly get access to a whole bunch of material. And we're gonna keep it that way, right? Like, we're gonna try to always be two videos ahead of time. Um, I'm gonna be completely honest. We'll probably be a little bit late at first because we need to... We kind of over... As, 
I overestimated how quickly we were gonna be able to get everything ready for the first batch of stuff, but we're getting better, better at it now, and we're also getting fast at it. So, the Drought Ranger video might be, like, a little bit slow, but it'll come, like, at least two to three weeks earlier than it will have, uh, than it will have a public release. So it should still be good. Twitch subs removes the ads on the stream. Oh, alright, never mind, then you do get something for that too, I suppose. <laughs> Alright, alright. Okay, well, there's sort of nothing here. So let's just go back. Let's just go back. Hello there, friend. We'll beat up the Lich. Oh, there's some people already going at it. Yeah, I guess that's gonna happen. Nice, very good. And today, of course, we're going for Heating Ward. Yes. So what does Heating Ward do? Uh, plus 50 Heating Ward movement speed. Uh, you cannot be killed while affected by Heating Ward. And uh, your Heating Ward um, takes three hits to destroy. We are going up against five melee heroes. They can't destroy the Healing Ward. <laughs> So what we're gonna do, this lobby's rigged. No, I I did not rig the lobby. I All I did is use careful mental manipulation to get people to pick melee characters. That's that's all I did. They could have picked something else. There was app, there was no rule in place that prevented people from picking anything, uh, uh, from picking ranged characters. Uh, there was just subtle encouragement. Inconspicuous, carefully considered en encouragements. Oh yeah, magic immunity doesn't block silence anymore. Ugh, I hate this change. Or was that, was I too late on that? Did it like just run out at the end maybe? Okay, well the good news is we did already get this, so it's not too bad. So that's not too bad, you know. Like sure we died, but like also, yeah, we got something out of it. But yeah, anyway. <clears throat> Oh, <sighs> I like the, the, the members stuff on YouTube. I think it's a pretty good way of like, you know, having a more direct line. And the advantage of having it directly on YouTube, you know, I had some people, I had lots of people over the years suggest that I should do stuff with Patreon or something like that. I never really liked it because it basically asks me to send you to a third party platform. Like you just go somewhere else entirely and then you have to spend your money there and sign up there. I don't like that, right? That always feels awkward. But on YouTube, y'all are already on YouTube. There's just a button now. Right? And you should already have uh, payment services set up for YouTube. Because honestly, if you aren't using YouTube Premium, you're a sucker. I may just say so. <laughs> YouTube Premium is the single most valuable subscription service out there. Like, the, the most... You get, you get the most out of it. At least I do. Blade Dance heals you for 20% of damage dealt. Thank you. Very good. Very good. I could also have gotten the agility there, which would have been fine too. Um, but I think I like the Blade Dance upgrades because we want to get all of the Blade Dance upgrades, right? That's like the most important thing here. And yes, uh, we are going for uh, Blade Dance upgrades, but the uh, Healing Ward Legendary. Oh, this thing got buffed recently, so now it gives us blue charges as well. Which is very convenient. But that's actually a very powerful build in my opinion. It's one of the strongest things you can do with Juggernaut. You just get Blade Dance as your upgrades that you pick up. And then you go for Healing Ward as your Legendary. And the Healing Ward is also a, a backup option, right? Those upgrades are good secondary options when something else isn't available. As it unfortunately will frequently be. But that's fine because Healing Ward upgrades aren't that bad either. Alright, cool. Next up, what we want with this is honestly just items that we don't have to micromanage. We do not want to have anything that requires us to actually think and plan and pay attention. Because we are going to be micromanaging the ward. We will not have the opportunity to micromanage our hero in the same way. 
because I'm just not that good at micromanagement, right? We need to understand our own limitations as a player. So, what we're going to do is we're going to buy passive items that are right-click based. Saint Yasha is great, but Hyoscadi is good, Butterfly is good, Bash is good, stuff like that. And then we're just going to click on things while we use the healing ward to keep us alive. <laughs> All right, I'm just kind of here now. Uh, Bloodseeker's E, I know that. Pretty, pretty sure about that. Blade Dance attacks increase your attack speed. Fantastic. Yes, very good. Wraith King is, I'm guessing, ultimate. Ooh, okay. Phantom Assassin Q. Uh, Axe E. Yeah, Axe E. And this is probably W. Oh, I'm so good. I can just smell it. Honestly, I did not check. I did not really see as the selection went through, as the pop-ups came. But sometimes you can just kind of tell. All right, based on the composition of everybody. Based on the setup of the lobby. Sometimes you can just tell. Alright, here we go. And now we just like attack here. We've got the healing ward. And the creeps can't kill us. We can take down ancients, no problem. But usually these guys are a bit scary because of course they do a lot of damage. Uh, we can't die to them. It's just not a possibility. Because we have the healing ward. Uh, these guys are a little bit annoying though. We were slightly too late. It's not too bad. But it could be better. We'll get extra damage. Warp over here. Thank you. And then we just immediately... Oh, wait. No, somebody's warping. Is the Bloodseeker coming in here? I don't think so. I think the Bloodseeker is like doing something else. So I'll just throw down a healing ward. I mean, the Bloodseeker is going to get vision on me. But that's fine. Because the Healing Ward does heal a very significant amount of HP. And even if he wants to jump me, it's actually not that easy. Because I do have the Healing Ward already active. So we're just kind of fine. Ooh, yeah, Bloodseeker is just hunting. Yeah, Bloodseeker just got reworked. His E build got reworked. Don't worry, we'll play it soon as well. Um, today I just wanted to play Juggernaut because, you know... That's what I wanted to talk about a little bit. Okay. So we don't need to be careful here. We don't need to worry. Ah, we do need to worry a little bit, maybe. Uh, we'll be fine. Nice. Very good. Like, that right there was pretty much a prime example. I couldn't really run the healing ward away too much because I didn't want to... Uh, be outside of its radius, and I also didn't want the um, Bloodseeker to run too far away. Uh, because he is fairly quick, of course. But, just by the Bloodseeker having to chase down the healing ward, we were able to get a whole bunch of damage in. And then, uh, we killed him. No problem. Hey, Arc Tenius, thanks for the four months. Appreciate it. I love Juggernaut Ultimate a lot, but I guess you would rate it as the worst ability in Monarch 6 for Juggernaut Legendary. Yeah, it's definitely the worst Juggernaut Legendary. Juggernaut is a really strong character, I feel. Uh, the Q build is really good. I like the Q build. I think the, um, the E build is really scary. The W build is good if you're going up against lobbies full of melee characters specifically, but then it's honestly near unbeatable. It's super powerful. Um, so yeah. But in other scenarios, so it's, it's kind of bad. All right, that's fine. All right. Oh, I should not have turned. I should have just kept hitting. That was actually on me. That was my mistake. If I just keep hitting, I think I can Omni Slash and I might be able to just win. Yeah, Axe is scary. Oh, uh, weird thing. I'm not sure why, and I don't think this is how it should work. This doesn't seem right to me. Uh, but, weirdly, Axe Spin or Axe Dunk 
does not bypass healing wall. So we cannot die while we're affected by healing wall. And that means uh, that also includes the axe stun. All right, sure, whatever, we die. Healing Ward reduces enemies' movement speed by 25%, and casting Healing Ward disarms nearby enemies for 2 seconds. Alright, that's fine. We got we got a return kill. I feel good about that. And um, we're working on our Skadi. Skadi is really, really, really important because it stops people from getting to the Healing Ward. Right uh, right now, we can't actually really stop people from doing that yet, so Skadi is kind of crucial. Um, but, yeah, we're, we're working on it. We're working on it. The fact that I managed to kill the axe is actually pretty good. The axe build is fairly strong in the early game, just because you have a lot of damage with the spin. Ah, that's unfortunate. Okay, every 4 seconds healing ward increases your attack speed by 80 and attack damage by 12%. Also triggers when the healing ward is destroyed. So that's some more power for us. It's not a huge deal by any means, but it is something and we will take really just about anything. We're not that picky. Good, good, good. Mm-hmm. Hello? I don't know if I can do anything to this guy. I guess we just chill. Ah, Phantom Assassin. That's a problem. Yeah. Phantom Assassin and Bloodseeker, they're both here. I probably should just leave it be. Yeah, I smoked up, but I don't really want to engage in this. They're poking each other. The healing ward isn't going to be that good until we have enough slow. We need to have enough disable to stop people from just getting to it. And Bloodseeker is just simply too fast. That's why I'm not even really bothering to try to micromanage it. There's just not really that much of a purpose to it. Okay, I'm just gonna leave. Is that okay? Like, you can't dagger me down. It's not gonna happen. Ugh. Come here. Oh my god, stop being annoying. <laughs> Look, either you fight me or you go away. Don't do this. This is, this is just irritating. This is just irritating, and it's a waste of both of our time, you know? It's better for you to go do something else, it's better for me to do something else. Because I'm not gonna die to her just like slowly throwing daggers at me, it's not gonna happen. So we might as well not have it going on. Because I don't really have a good way of catching up to her. I know my Omni Slash was optimistic, by the way, like, I was aware she was gonna just use her blur. But it's like one of those moments, what else am I gonna do? Right? Like, it's, what else am I gonna do? I'm gonna need to do something. There is a slight chance that it's on cooldown, that she just panics and doesn't use it. Mistakes happen. Give, give, your, give your opponents opportunities to make mistakes, right? They are not flawless. Despite what the YouTube comments say. <laughs> well, I guess the people in the lobby are not the people in the YouTube comments. The people in the YouTube comments, they, they, are, they are, of course, the best that have ever touched a keyboard. Apologies for anything else I might have implied. I'll get myself some agility. We do need MKB, so let's just get started on that. And now we are actually pretty strong. Now we feel now we feel fairly powerful. We want to get some kills, um, but we'll get there, right? And honestly, just our casual passive farming stage here uh, is already fairly effective, just because we have the battle fury. Like we're second in net worth, uh, so there isn't really anything to complain about there. Does butterfly still have the slow immunity? Yeah. Wait, no. No, I don't think so. Actually, all right. I now it's got the damage reduction thing. I don't think it gets slow immunity anymore. Slow immunity, the only... We could get Drums of Bearing. <laughs> I don't think Drums of Bearing would be that useful, but we could get it. 
All right, we get ourselves the Demon Edge. Slow immunities on Dispersa. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Things are just getting scooted around the place. Dispersa is probably a good item for us. But for now, let's just finish up our um, MKB because we definitely need that against Phantom Assassin. Each attack has a chance to slow the enemy. We will prioritize that. As I already said, slows are king for us. Oh, that's so annoying. Come on! Hmm. Yeah. Ultimately, we don't have any tricks. Oh. Do you want to fight or not? No? Okay. Then let's not. No, she's gonna keep doing it. Well, if you want to kill me, now is your window. You gotta do it now. Oh, wow. Okay, fat crits. Never mind. Those were some nicely timed crits. <clears throat> yeah, eh, it's gonna happen. The fusel blade will probably be good. Like, I don't know. Struggle, listen. Yeah, well, what can I do? If she doesn't get the crit there, I can turn around and Omni Slash. Right? Like, that there's nothing you can do against that. It's a Phantom Assassin. Sometimes you're just gonna get critted down, and that's just gonna happen. So. Unfortunate, but. More. More or less unavoidable. And not something that's worth worrying about, in my opinion. Okay. Yeah, this is nice because it, it slows. Um, Movement speed. And actually, it slows attack speed now, too. The tooltip hasn't been updated. But I know that it does do that. Ooh, buyback. Oh, dear. The axe is dead? Question mark? No. But took a lot of damage. It is probably possible to just, like, run in and finish the axe now. Oh no, am I gonna do it? Am I gonna be that nightmare? Alright. Hello. Ah, I don't know if I do enough damage. Alright. Yeah, this is the problem here. Also, uh, evasion, right? Oh well, we'll just disengage. We got the MKB now. We've got the MKB now. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, it's probably not enough. Damn it. Ah. <sighs> That's always a problem, if you run into somebody at these really awkward spots. No, it's okay. It's okay, we'll get there. We'll get ourselves the Disperser? No. No, we need Basher. I need something that's like really, really good at stopping people from chasing down the ward. And there's really nothing better there than just a good old Basher. It will completely stop people in their tracks. Uh, wow, these are bad. Yeah, Bloodseeker is a problem mostly because of his really high movement speed, right? And like, and he just kind of like bursts me down a bit. It's fine. The only thing that isn't fine is that I really need more legend, uh, more and more epics. I really wish I had this. Reduces target's movement speed by forty percent. That would make a huge difference, right? But oh well. <clears throat> Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse. Oh, is that coming out? I might actually go see that. I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little tired of all of this superhero crap. But I did the original, the Spider-Verse. I feel like the Spider-Verse, the original Spider-Verse movie. I was less interested in that because it's Spider-Man, but more because the animation was really, really spicy, and the animation was really, really spicy, right? 
Okay, that's one death. Well, we're not getting you, but... Oops. So this is a problem then, isn't it? But we are fine? And I hope the animation... Is the animation for the second one also looking good? I haven't really taken a, a look at it at all, if I'm honest. But yeah, that might be one that, that we go see. Alright, let's go teleport back. Yeah, animation is next level. Oh yeah, I mean, then I'll go watch it. Again, I don't give a shit about any spider people, but I do appreciate some good animation. We actually went to see... Um, Susune? Is that what it's called? It was an anime film that Mickey wanted to see. Susune's Door? Is that a movie? Is that what it's called? Honestly, I do not know what the movie was called. I think that's what it was called. <laughs> From the guy that made your name. We went to see that one. Uh, I thought it was okay. Uh, it had some stuff in it where it was just kind of like, this feels like it's just here because you expect it to be here, right? Um, but at the same time, it also just kind of uh, was some fun to... Oh, yes. Let's go, Juggernaut. Yes! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> but at the same time, the animation of it was beautiful, so... I, I enjoyed it overall. Just, like, there's something fun about watching, you know, like, a cool, beautifully animated movie, right? Okay, see? We can kill him! It's fine! It took us a little while to get there. But now that we have some items, it's not a problem. Because he couldn't even, even he couldn't run from us. Perfect. Time to say hello. Is the blood sticker still here? Well, I'm not going to stop attacking because you go AFK in the middle of the game. You know, that's... That's on you. That's not on me. I don't know what I don't know what you want me to do about this. I have a base to save. I will kill your outer buildings. I'm. I don't. I don't know. I feel a little bad about this, but like, I, I was literally just fighting this guy, so I thought I could, and now I can't go for it. Ah, oh, man. Ugh. Oh. No, I'll I'll take it. I used the base disabler for this. I thought I would win this fight. Right? It's not my fault that he went AFK right there. Because if I reset now, I'm wasting my base disabler. And I just don't want to do that. Alright, that's that if the, if I didn't if I hadn't used the book on it, if I hadn't done that, I wouldn't have taken that kill. But I did. And I did it with perfect, perf a perfectly fair assumption that he was around, that he didn't, that he wasn't AFK. Because just a second ago, he was there. So, yeah, I, I do still a little, I, do, I still feel not so great about it, but oh well. What can I do now? I will right, we'll get this. So, time to kill people, I think, right? Also, a snail here. Nail, that axe build is shit, right? Like, it's so bad. It is so bad. I tried that build yesterday, and honestly, it just doesn't do damage. That's the biggest problem with it. It's not that it's, like, conceptually bad, but, like, for some reason, you just don't have anything that scales. You have no... Like, you're... Your spin is supposed to be your primary source of damage, and all of the damage increase you get is like plus 60. Like, flat. And that's it. <laughs> and it's so bad. Uh, it feels a, little, uh, feels a little upsetting almost, because you're just kind of like, you expect um, Axe to be a, a good character, but he's just... Ooh. He's just not. Alright, um... 
I'm just gonna walk in here and get started on something. Oh, I found him. Hello. Oh shit, I micromanaged that one. But I think I just mean anyway. Alright, then we have we have a second ward. Very good. Nope. We'll just ultimate now. Blade Dance reduces the target's movement speed by 40% and increases your movement speed by 40%. That's the big one that I want. Because now you really can't run away from it anymore. Very good. And honestly, I'm not really that worried about this. Because I can just slap this in here. And now we can't die anymore. Right? Like, it's fine. What's he gonna do? <laughs> Alright, now we have to leave, though. We are kind of running a little low on HP. Oh, are you chasing? No, you don't want to be chasing. This does not have a long cooldown. 10 seconds. Right? Like, you, you just... You can't... You can't chase that. It's not, not a viable option. So how the hell do I catch up to the Phantom Assassin? I think I do get a Disperser, right? Like, I can dispel her stuff. And get a whole bunch of movement speed bonus. <clears throat> That's probably the way to go. It's also just a strong item in general. Uh, so, uh, we'll take the patrol and then we'll knock out the Wraith King. And then we should be good. Pick this. Oh, these are really bad. I guess I'll increase the Omni Slash for what it's worth. Penta Edged Sword is really, really good for us. Makes our character even more autopilot. Right? Like, that's what we're looking to do. We want to just have this Juggernaut be attacking on his own without any of our input needed. And Penta Edge Sword is really good at specifically that. So, um, yeah. There we go. We'll just use this here. That's fine. I just want to make sure we get it. There's not enough time to really finish another player anyway. No, let me take this down first really quick. I'll deal with you afterwards. Do I even want to kill the Wraith King? Like, is there even a point to killing the hero? I mean, I guess. I don't even need to use the healing ward, funnily enough. Yeah. It's just... We have a lot more money, and our build is a lot more powerful in terms of just raw damage. Not taking level up. Well, we, we care about slows. This is just a slow. And now we get this, and that's kind of the nice thing, right? Like, we have to think about our epics in such a way that uh, basically we always have at least one that's okay, which is the healing ward. And sometimes we get lucky and we get a rare upgrade, which is a Blade Dance upgrade. Right, it's kind of a funny way to think about it, but that's that's just how it works. All right, uh, so this is a really the, the two remaining heroes are definitely the worst matchups in the lobby. Ooh, hello! Oh, damn it! Get out! Get out of the base! Get out of the base! Then I can help. Leave the base! Ah. Oh. Yeah, I think the Phantom Assassin takes it. All right. Well, we'll need to just uh, see if we can farm up enough money to buy something. What do we buy? I'll go back. Oh, can you help? If the Phantom Assassin leaves the base, I can help. If the Ember Spirit stays inside of the base, he dies in the base, and then the Phantom Assassin never has to come outside, and I can't attack her. 
if the Ember Spirit leaves the base, there are three possibilities. Either I kill him and then he's dead. Um, or the Phantom Assassin decides to not chase and just kill his base, in which case he's dead. Um, or there's a small chance that she makes a mistake and she chases him out of the base. And if she does that, I can kill the Phantom Assassin. Of course, that's not a given. It requires her to make a mistake. But I said that earlier. You gotta give your opponents opportunities to fuck up. If you assume your opponents are always gonna play flawlessly, uh, well, they are humans too, you know? So, we have a bunch of money. Like, the question is, Epic, Moon Shard... I think we get a moon shard and our. I think we get an, a moon shard and our Aghanim's shard. I feel like that's the way to go here. We'll see. Aghanim's scepter could have been worthwhile, but to be honest, I just need to get close to her once. And then she's. Then it's fine, I think. As, soon, as long as we do that, as long as we get close once, we can just click on her and let it happen. Uh, assuming we don't immediately die, but like, that's the thing, um, she can't kill us. Like, she just can't. <laughs> See? <laughs> she, she just can't kill us. <laughs> so there's that. Wait, oh, it's on cooldown? Oh, that's a, what the fuck, Sino? Now that's a scam. That's a scam. Oh my god. It, it was on cooldown because it died at the end of the duel. And the cooldown wasn't properly reset. Oh, if I lose now because of that, I'll be kind of mad. Got it. Nice! Hey! Let's go! Let's go! We did find a bug, so that's good. Maybe, maybe fix that one. <laughs> anyway, please go check out the Stories of Dota memberships, if that's something that's appealing to you. Um, and I guess that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.